Okay, so now for this question where I've given you um, yeah, bipartite graph and asking you to find the maximum matching. So maximum matching means um, the set of edges um, from this bipartite graph, I want the maximum set of uh, edges or the largest number of edges such that every vertex in this graph is connected to at most one of those edges. Okay, so to do that, so actually the final solution is going to be something like this. Okay, so this is a maximum matching. So you have five edges, all these red edges. So you see each of these vertices is connected to at most one of these red edges, right? So the black edges are not part of the maximum matching, only the red edges. So we want to find such a uh, set of edges such that every vertex is attached to only at most one of these um, edges that form the maximum matching okay so let's go and see how we do this <coughs> all right so the first step is to transform this bipartite graph as a flow graph so we have a source and a sink and we draw edges um, between uh, from this set to this set and all the edges are in this direction going from the source to the sink so everything is in this direction okay and we ha have now from the source we have edges to a b c d e and then from one two three four five six to the sink right so all edges are of capacity one and just from this you could see that if I try to send uh, or attach more than one edge to A in the maximum matching it's not possible because basically we are going to solve it as a flow problem so uh, we're going to see how much the maximal flow we can send from source to sink since there's only one edge is uh, one unit of capacity available from each of these edges from S to each of these vertices from these vertices only one edge can be used to send the flow of one so if you're if the the inflow in is at most one to each of these vertices so the outflow could be at most one so you cannot use more than one of these edges from each of these vertices similarly to the sink you may have multiple inflows but you can send only one out so only one of these incoming edges could be connected to each of these vertices so that's why uh, we can satisfy the condition that um, each of the edges of your maximum or each of your vertices are connected at most one of the edges in your maximum matching. All right. So now, how do we? Uh, so we got this initial uh, kind of weighted graph. So all we have to now do is draw a residual graph of this. So this is a residual graph of that. So from Every for every edge, like we did for the Ford Fulkerson algorithm, so you have 0 slash 1, um, this is 0 slash 1, and so on. So the back edge is sort of 0 slash 0. So now what we do is we run uh, a find a path basically from the source to sink. So let's say we found a path SA1T, which is this right so we are sending one unit of flow on these edges so the capacity reduces by one and the flow increases by one and the back edge is negative one one similarly on this it is one slash zero and the back edge is negative one one and this is one slash zero and the back edge is negative one one for each of this uh, edges on this augmenting path right so now the second path now we want to go from s to b um, um, trying to see how can we get B connected to the sink. So from S to B, you can go from B to 1. Now you're going to make use of this back edge again. So you see here, this is a available capacity 1. So from 1, you can send something to A. And from A, you can send to 2. And from 2, you can send to T. Right? So basically, 1 is giving back its flow. So the flow on this edge is now going to be negative 1 plus 1, which is a 0. And the capacity of this edge is now being used from 1 to A. So its capacity now reduces to 0. 
and the flow on this edge is going to be reduced from A to 1 you have sent 1 unit of flow since you are giving back since 1 is giving back to A so it is 1 minus 1 which is 0 and the capacity on that edge is going to increase from 0 to 1 and on this edge from A to 2 this is going to be 1 slash 0 right and then negative 1 1 and then 2 to t is going to be again 1 slash 0 negative 1 1 right so those edges are fine you're just sending one unit of flow and the capacity reduces by one so then everything is fine so actually now you end up not really using this a to one because uh, you still have only well, you still you have that one unit of capacity available from a to one so basically you're not using this h a to one so returning from b to one and then this is from a to two right then similarly sc3t that is fine so as i showed in as i showed now you see here s a 2 t is one of your uh, pa uh, pa thing and s b 1 t is the other augmenting path so basically end up not using that h from a to 1 right because of this kind of sending back from 1 to a right so how was it done we are sending like s to b b to 1 1 to a a to 2 t so you're giving back the flow so that it is not being used that's why it is like this all right let's move on so now from s to t you have s c 3 t so this is fine you're just sending one unit of flow on each of the edges so that makes you the capacity now uh, s to d you cannot go from d to 3 like this so you have to go through this and that's using one unit of flow so from e you have s e 5 t so that's sending one unit of flow so eventually all this um, edges so that have been used uh, to send some flow are colored in red and um, if you just look at those edges to cross from this set to this set uh, these are these again five edges one two three four five and those five edges form your mini maximal matching okay and they also forming your minimal cut here these are the five, uh, five edges that form your minimal cut for this flow graph and for original bipartite graph these form your maximum matching right